You revved up to learn PLCs and you decided that Alan Bradley is the best PLC for you to learn to get the most marketable skills in your particular area. Let's talk about hardware and software selection and let's make sure you get the most bang for your buck. My name is Tim and I put out how-to videos on learning to program PLCs. And one of the more common questions I get is, I've decided I want to learn Studio 5000. Which license should I purchase? And automatically, my next question is, do you need to learn Studio 5000 or do you just want to learn Studio 5000? Because that's going to determine the price range that we're actually in. Rockwell Automation has an economical line of PLC called the Micro 800, which uses the free Connected Components Workbench software. And then they have the Control Logics and Compact Logics PLC, which requires a licensed version of Studio 5000. And here's where I like to get to know a little more about where you're really at in your learning journey when you're making this decision. Because if you purchase a piece of hardware and you decide, hey, I'm I'm not that interested in really learning this. You can resell that piece of hardware and recoup most of your losses. If you fork out money for software, you're just out that money. Now, before some of you start throwing the comments, yeah, Studio 5000 costs like $10,000. No, it doesn't. And Rock Automation really has given us some economical avenues to get in, especially in the last few years. That's what I want to depress in this video on. But first of all, let's talk about what are the differences between Connected Components Workbench and the Micro 800 PLC and Studio 5000 and the Control Logics Compact Logics PLC. And we'll start with Connected Components Workbench. So it's free, downloadable right off of Rockwell Automation's website. And there will be a course at the end of this video that will walk you through that. And it's a well-rounded software that does more than just PLC. So we can use it to program the Micro 800. We can also use it to program this PowerFlex 525 drive. You can also use it for the PLBU 800 HMIs or human machine interfaces, touchscreens. You can use it for the configurable safety relays, the CR30s, and several other items. And most importantly, the free version supports the three major languages of ladder logic, function block diagrams, and structured text. What I'll say is these are good for smaller scale systems, standalone applications, although they, they can do some controller over Ethernet. You could have, you know, a handful of drives or IO link or other devices. But as you get into larger scale systems and more distributed systems where maybe you have a PLC here, but your IO is separate in other locations, that's when usually you're going to go to Studio 5000. And while it does support Ladder logic, function block diagram, and structured text. Which license you purchase determines which languages you get and which pieces of hardware you can work with. And let's have a look at those licenses and options. So we're going to Google Rockwell Software Port. And you're going to see software ordering options come up. Click on it. And then we're going to visit our software subscription portal. And if you do not have a login, it is free to create one. In fact, I just created a blank login just for this. And first, here is Connected Components Workbench, and there is a paid version of it. And let's go peek at it really fast. And what I'll say is if you're starting to do projects out in the field, go ahead and purchase this. It's a $200 a year. And the main reason I'm going to urge you to purchase it is it includes eight to five Monday through Friday phone support. And it doesn't take long to pay for $200 of support. Now let's hit the back button on this and let's scroll down and let's find Studio 5000. And this could be one that's even difficult to scroll and find. You see, I'm just sitting here just scrolling away and we are looking for the Studio 5000 section. And notice there are several offerings here. We're looking for Studio 5000 Automation Engineering and Design Environment. We're gonna click on it and 100% do not look at Studio 5000 Service Edition. Um, and in fact, yeah, let's let's go ahead and talk about this. If you happen to be here and you are, say, a maintenance manager, and you're like, well, I want my technicians to look at the software, but I don't want them to actually touch the software. The best way to get a technician to look and not touch is have them intimately familiar with the software. And we have classes to help you on that. But this is one that I really wish Rockwell had not given us an option. 
But the next one down is the first one that I would recommend for some people who decide they need to learn Studio 5000. And that is Studio 5000 Mini Edition. Now, notice here it says, use to program and configure the Compact Logic Standard Controller family, and it includes ladder programming only. Now, ladder logic is the most popular language out there. Now, I did not say anywhere in that sentence that it was the best or the worst language, but it is the language that you want to learn first when you decide you want to learn to program PLCs. Because, you know, you're not going to start off you know, building new equipment, you're going to start off probably working with existing equipment. So you need to be really familiar with that. But of the three here, this one is the connecting opponent's workbench. Now here we have a compact Logix PLC, and then we have a compact guard Logix PLC. This would only program this compact Logix PLC, and it would only do ladder logic. Now the next one that I would have you look at is Studio 5000 light edition and this one can be used to program and configure the compact logics and compact guard logic family of controllers and it supports ladder function block diagram and structured text so that's going to get you into both of these plcs right here which covers all of our studio 5000 trainers it's going to get you into safety and it's going to get you into the function block diagrams and structured text and that's probably the option I lean towards the most when people ask me what license they need and we decide, yeah, you definitely are into Studio 5000. So let's look back around to Studio 5000 or Connecting Opponents Workbench. So you're talking $1,000 in software really to just start learning this. Now that's $1,000 a year. Now if you're actually using this out in the field, $1,000 a year doesn't take long to cover. But if you're really sitting there just curious and you're like, man, I really think this is a profession I want to go in. I want you to start in the Connecting Components Workbench series. And there is a simulator in there. I don't recommend you really go far in your learning journey with the simulator, but you can get through the first few lessons in our courses with it. And so I want you to start by downloading Connecting Components Workbench software, installing it, and I want you to have gone through the first few courses and then reach out to me and we'll talk about whether you should do Connecting Components Workbench or Studio 5000. And here's a playlist right here that includes videos on getting started with both Studio 5000 and the Connecting Components Workbench software.